everybody in here sitting here in my truck having my coffee with all you I'm warming it up yep I'm still in my jammies today is the day that Papa goes and starts his treatment I take him drop him off and pick him up and uh, I'm a little nervous but I think he's gonna be in good hands so I take him drop him off pick him up later in the day and just take it from there this poor dog I picked up a different dog yesterday he has been completely out of it he has not been eating, he's not been peeing or defecating, he's just been laying around. Um, I did pick him up yesterday and they brought out a dog that just looked totally different to me. His eyes were glassy, his head was down, he didn't want to get up in the truck. He couldn't get up in the truck, he had to be lifted. And um, I guess they had him in the kennel because, well, they had to have somewhere to put him, and he didn't tolerate the kennel very well at all. So they dosed him with um, tramadol. And so I think that's what's causing his lethargy. But they also told me that the heartworm treatment really takes a lot out of a dog. So, well, I guess this is the way it's going to be for about the next four months. Poor thing. Hey guys, this was filmed the next day, but I want to introduce a couple other clips that we've got, that I've got, um, while I was waiting for Papa to get done with his appointment, um, I just, I did a thing, so I'm going to show it to you. The big sink is outside once again, and I installed a little sink. All I did was I took that big piece of wood that was the backsplash to the cabinet on the other side of the kitchen where the cooktop is, laid it down on top of this table, and extended it a little bit out the end and it's working pretty good i had to cut a hole in it and it's kind of crooked but it's okay uh it's, it's an inexpensive piece of wood it's expendable so but one thing is that it is not supported over here on the end so i needed to figure out what to do to make that more steady put something up underneath of that so i went looking around my property and i found two two by fours that were cut for the exact height that I needed so I just screwed them in and now they're supporting the weight of my little kitchen sink basically I've got a tube down there I need a different adapter to hook it on so I can get a bigger hose in there but it just drains right down into that bucket and I think it's going to work great it takes up less space I've got a sink so I'm pretty happy about that and if you read my community post, you'll see that uh, I now have, I have protection. And um, it's more than adequate. So any of the weird stuff that's been going on, um, it's not, it's not going to bother me anymore. I'm going to be just fine. Some good news. Uh, they finally did get the squatters stuff off their land. They were out there all yesterday from bright and early in the morning doing some dirt work, had a big tractor up and was moving some dirt around, smoothing out that drive that the squatter had completely ruined, big ruts in the drive. And uh, so then one truck, a flatbed came and picked up the guy's truck. And then a little later on, um, another truck pulled the trailer down the hill and couldn't get it any further. So a bigger truck came and pulled that white trailer off of the land. So now the young couple, um, they're, they're going to be able to move in. I texted them last night and let them know that the trailer was gone. And I'm watching over things for them um, just to make sure that nobody gets up there and, you know, takes anything. So they're out there again. At, I don't know. It must be like 8 o'clock in the morning. They're out there. they got a team of people working to get that lot cleared. Well, it's cleared, but they just need to repair the damage that was done and uh, move some dirt around and, and whatnot. So that's very, very good news. Anyhow, yeah, there's been some some news going around about some things in the neighborhood. I'm not even going to talk about them. I'm just exhausted and um, I don't have to worry about those weird things anymore. So, well, um, I think the rest of this video is just going to be clips from the last few days and the next few days, and then I'll upload a video when I'm able to. On a lighter note, I did go to my post office box and I picked something up, and I also had something delivered in my mail, and I also bought myself a couple things. So, you know what time it is? <laughs> Thank you. 
I'm sorry. I can't do the ch -ch thing because I already opened them. This came in my mail. It's from my parents, and I have to show it to you because it's awesome. Look at this. Isn't that cool? This book is filled simple, uh, simple sustainability with all kinds of just cool things, planting and growing, canning, prepper ideas. They don't call it prepper ideas, but um, lots of colorful things in it. Just look at that cover. Oh, I hope my pantry looks like that someday. I kind of like that. Look at that. They just look like milk crates stacked on top of one another. That looks pretty cool. So thank you, Mom and Dad, for sending this to me. I have just been perusing this like crazy, and I absolutely love, love this magazine. Okay, the next one. This came to the post office box. Check this out, you guys. Look. Whoops. There went the thingy. I get to grow organic mushrooms right here inside. It's, it's uh, I'm pretty sure it's oyster mushrooms. Yeah, yeah, it's got to be oyster mushrooms. That They look like oyster mushrooms. Yep, it says, just add water and harvest in the next 10 days. So I am going to give this a shot. And hopefully I will have lots of, lots of these beautiful mushrooms. Because you all know how much I love them. And um, let's see who this is from. Hi, Anne. Enjoy your gift. I know how much you love mushrooms. So thought if you could start some more growing You'd always have as many as you like from Ruthie J. Ruthie! Oh my gosh, this is awesome. So thank you so much for this. I can't wait to get this started. Yep, that cheers me up. Okay, um, the next couple things. Well, someone had mentioned uh, water glassing eggs, and I had already been all over that. That's definitely what I'm going to do. I got some pickling lime. Now, you can get it in bulk um, from... I don't know, like the hardware store. It has to be food grade, though. Um, but this lime, you can use it for pickling, but I'm going to use it to water glass uh, my eggs. And I've got a whole, I've got like six packs of this, so I'm going to have plenty. I also ordered this, so let me open it up because you have to, you can't measure it with a teaspoon or a measuring cup or something. You have to measure it by weight. So I got myself one of these. It is a digital scale. I think it's like 10 bucks on Amazon. So I just have to charge it up, turn it on, and it will measure it, uh, I think, per gallon of water. I think you use an ounce of this, but I'm going to have to double check. So I'm going to start water glassing eggs. I'm going to start with a small jar, well, actually a gallon jar first, and just see how it goes. I've got a ton of fresh eggs sitting over there. I just gave away two dozen eggs <laughs> to people. And um, so this is going to be a good way to store them. It's like they did it in the olden days. And it um, is said that you can save the eggs for eight months a year, sometimes a couple years. So I'm going to give it a try and see how that works out. And also, um, Papa with his treatment has to take a bunch of pills. Um, he has to take prednisone. There's the, the tramadol to keep him calm. Um, they say one and a third tablets, but if they gave him one and a third tablets yesterday, he's still knocked out by it today. So I may reduce that dosage a little bit and see if he can get by on just, you know, I'm not giving him any more tramadol until he comes out of this. Um, and then there's gabapentin for the pain because the um, the shot, I guess, is actually quite painful for the dogs. So he doesn't like taking pills at all, but I found something that he likes, that I also like, and it's gonna freak you out, totally. But I just put it, in, uh, put it around a pill and he will eat it, and that is this stuff. Roast beef spread. You might think it's gross, but I like the flavor of it, and I like putting it on sandwiches. It's shelf-stable. Um, and so he loves this stuff. I will put his pills in it, and he will just gobble it right down. And, oh, yeah, I had to give him his, um, his not heartworm, his um, tapeworm treatment. Um, and it treats all worms. So if he's got something else up in there, it's going to kill them all. So I just use this, and I love it myself. And I've got a few jars of it left, so... Um, and I got it on Amazon. You can't find it in the stores. Seriously, I cannot find this stuff in the stores. So that's going to make his treatment on my end a little bit better. 
the vet says that this heartworm treatment really takes it out of the dogs. So that's what my focus is going to be. And um, now I don't have to worry about being bothered or, you know, worried about anything else because um, I am armed and um, it will be an intimidating event if anyone comes up on my property and they see that thing in my arms. That's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.